You know what, recently, over the past few days, I've had to unfollow some social media accounts. Like, I don't know if anyone else, like, feels this, but there are some accounts on social media which I've noticed just put out wealth. Like, watches, cars, money. And it's not healthy, you know? Like, I've actually had to unfollow certain accounts. Because it was... It wasn't taking me away from faith, but it... I felt like it wasn't healthy. I started having, like... Feelings like, you know what, I feel like I need this or I need a certain car or I need this to make me happy. And I don't, Alhamdulillah, by the grace of God, I have, I've got, I'm, I feel like I'm blessed enough, I'm happy enough where I am in my life. And I don't need like other like distractions or like other little things that can take me away from my happiness and my link from God. Because materialism and wealth is dangerous. But when you start chasing wealth and materialism and worldly means and gains it's a, just a spiral of unhappiness like you want the next best thing like you want more and more and more of money you go to sleep thinking you know what tomorrow i need to make x amount of money to buy this or i need this amount of money to make me feel happy and it's just consistent like i've got friends of mine who said to me you know what i've got everything i want in my life i've got cars i've got a good job but whenever i sit in these cars that i've bought it doesn't give me joy anymore like it doesn't give me the same buzz that I used to get. So it's just it's just a matter of time when these things, the, the, the novelty of these things wear off. So you have to follow, unfollow certain social media accounts because every time I open it, it's just money. And it's just, for me, it was really unhealthy. So I've had to make a conscious effort to do that. Because there was a point in my life where I thought, you know what, I want a fast car, I want, I want everyone wants nice things in life, but like, I want those extravagant things. And as time's gone on, and I've got a, I've, I've got a family, and I feel like my relationship with God has become stronger and more. I feel more connected. Those worldly desires, for the worldly desire for things, um, has lessened. And Islam Islam teaches to the the Prophet peace be upon him said, "Look at those who are less fortunate than you are, rather than those who have more than you, because otherwise you'd never be happy. Like if you're always looking at people who've got more in life." You'll never be satisfied. You'll be like, oh my gosh, I've got this, this, and this, but that guy's got X, Y, and Z. And you just won't feel that sense of contentment. It's really important to, what I've learned from this, and I never thought I'd be doing this, but like unfollowing certain accounts, which are giving me negative energy. Because it affects us, we're all human beings. So maybe it is just taking a minute to self-reflect and think about those accounts which might be feeding you things which are not necessarily healthy for you. So just take a second just to reflect. But that's what I had to do. Because I knew it was, it was affecting me negatively. And, and the, the purpose of this life, that like we came with nothing. We're going to leave with nothing. And we're not going to take all these fancy things with us. And all this wealth and watches and Rolexes and cars. And we came with nothing. We're going to leave with nothing. We're all going to go back in the same box. Like the same um, uh, cabin. The wooden box we're going to go back in. Like... No one's going to have their money hoarded with them. You're going you're to leave it all here. So anyway, I wanted to share that because I thought, you know what? This is something which somebody else might be going through as well. And maybe they just need the encouragement to be like, look, you know what? I'm going to unfollow that account because it's not healthy. Just remember in life, the whole purpose of our creation is to worship Allah the Almighty and serve humanity. Because that's where you get true pleasure from. Like if you speak to someone who, who's loaded and rich, then we're like, you know what? These things, they've all got like a life, a time span, a lifespan. And once you've had it, you get over it. You want the next best thing and it's just a spiral. So remember, hope, positivity and faith. Try your best to have that connection with Allah the Almighty. Remember that He is the giver. He is the sustainer. And all good things come from God Almighty. And if you have things in life, it's important to be grateful for them. Because like I always say, you don't want to be in that unfortunate situation where you're begging God for a blessing which you had but he took it away from you because you weren't grateful for it you weren't grateful for it just take a second to self-reflect pray for each other be the best version you can be of yourself help individuals Allah the Almighty says you can't fulfill God's rights until you fulfill the rights of his creation so strive to take everyone on the journey of hope positivity and faith of goodness and try your best to offer your five daily prayers and if you're not a Muslim there's no reason why you can't pray you can still pray and connect with Allah the Almighty. I hope this helps. Because unfolding those accounts really helped me. Have a great day. Stay positive. Keep smiling. And yeah, be the best version of you.